Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Virgin Mary my little sons and daughters, good night, I am Mary, Virgin, Mother of God and your Mother. May you all receive presently and from a distance the blessing of your homes, your families, my intercession, and that of Almighty God, in the name of the Father, of the Son of the Holy Spirit Amen I intercede for you my children so that all these difficult and painful situations that you are going through can be overcome. When you have experienced painful and unfair aspects, handing over to Divine Justice the compensation for what has been lost is knowing that the Heavenly Father will give you what you need so that you can be healthy, that you recover your health, that you recover your lost joy, help them so that they can have this All Souls Day the reminder of this short transit of life. There will come a time when my children will return to the Father's house and will be with him again in that complete sense of having fulfilled their task on earth and knowing that from heaven they will also be accompanying the purposes of those who are on earth. They are also left with the illusion of their reunion, but the doors of heaven have been opened every year so that those who also wish to go to the Father can do so, so that those who feel that they have already fulfilled their purpose can feel that they are returning to that divine light. And so that they can also feel that there is no reason to fear, these days where you have felt those heavy, dense energies, those movements of the earth, those conditions of seeing exalted spirits, it is something that can be overcome when they understand that everything is in harmony and that although there are moments where that harmony tries to be lost, it will return to the natural order and you will also have that protection so that those difficult things do not happen to you and if hard things have already happened to you, you will be able to overcome them, be able to free yourself from all this and be able to rediscover that internal harmony and within your homes. We want them to be able to find different ways to express themselves, we want to help them find new habits in their recovery process and that when they feel that they are losing their willpower, when they are losing the desire to be able to do things, they know that we are interceding for them. So that you can improve yourselves, so that those issues that have been in conflict can be resolved and you can know that we are also going ahead of you to speak to all those people with whom you have conflict so that you can feel that if those conflicts were generated in the past can overcome all this under the energy of forgiveness that has the objective of freeing them from those things that are already left in that past. Ask God to recover that internal joy of happiness and that in this time that returns to the inner child, that returns to take stock of a year that is ending, it is the joy that everyone, as a joint creation, works from a distance with the I wish that there are no more wars, that there are no more kidnappings, that there are no more warlike attitudes of brother against brother because it does not matter to what political, social, ethnic condition they may belong, because at the end of the day my children of in my heart, everyone is a child of God and everyone has a place on this earth and as I have explained to them, they do not need to live in that order of struggles that made the processes of believing that those who had more land could have greater power over those so useless who were poorer or those who were more vulnerable and more fragile. From war, the only thing that remains for my children are losers and that is why they tune into the peace that is also internal, it is to stop fighting with life, it is to stop fighting with the darkness, it is to stop fighting with all those hard things that are in the path and that if they exist under the will of God they can receive protection so that he does not attack them, because the more you generate a battle against all that darkness and that evil, the more they will also feel that they have to fight with you because all the good the regular, the bad, the living, the dead, the demons, have a place in this world and under the protection of God they have been created and everyone has that right to exist. We preserve from love that those who are subjugating others free them, that they can feel that they have the opportunity to live in freedom and that this freedom between all parties is in a process where one's freedom begins where he establishes his path and ends where the freedom of the other begins, we want you to feel in my sacred mantle my motherly company, my infinite love, my joy of welcoming new relationships, my joy that you can fall in love and build homes and families. They are so scared and so scared thinking about what could go wrong and wanting a partner but every time someone new comes along they see them as their enemy or as a person who comes to harm them that they forget that love in itself does its job of trust. 
and that they can establish the truth from the innermost process so that they flow in the best conditions as a couple. We welcome those new mothers who get pregnant and are starting a new stage, those who are wondering if they are really good daddies or good mommies and we will be accompanying them as we have always done to make this process more favorable, so that they can also understand each other in the face of that project that they establish as a couple in a family concept that does not necessarily it has to be two people who live together under the same roof, but the harmony of two people who have spiritually chosen to bring children into the world and that God will give them the wisdom, abundance and openness of heart so that they can carry out that upbringing of children. Their children in harmony, wisdom and respect. When there is order, my children, when there is an opportunity to establish respectful rules, it is much easier to carry out projects, we are going to help them calm down before God and understand that there is never judgment and that in God's eyes his children always do everything well and that he never judges them so it is time, my children, to stop judging, that being compassionate with yourselves is not feeling sorry for yourself, that being compassionate with yourself is not playing the role of the victim, but understanding that if at one point you were wrong about something you can know why it happened that way but at the same time time can stop to say now I choose a different path and ask for help to strengthen myself and not return to the same habits and the same conditions of the past that hurt me. God bless you my children, I thank you with all my love and I thank you for putting your hand on your heart at this moment and under the energy of compassion ask that all those actors in the conflicts in the world, that all those actors in the violence re-establish their culture and understand that there are different ways to achieve their things without having to oppress or harm their brother. May my boys from my heart and my girls from my heart receive my blessing and God the Almighty Father with all my love I am Virgin Mary good night my little children until forever.